and hello YouTube this is GS Man Smart and I'm here today with another brand new tutorial and this one's gonna be about GIMP again and um, today we're gonna be teaching you how to do a simple drop shadow effect now a drop shadow effect is always good to have in all of your images because it makes the image a lot more realistic so I'm just gonna make a, a, a new file um, default everything default um, let's change this to white I need a bigger brush. Okay. So we have this white background, and um, I'm going to use an image that I already have open as layers. I'm going to use this Assassin's Creed image. Let's shrink this layer a little bit, scale layer. Let's shrink this layer by, let's make this 400. Okay. So we have our layer here, and you can see there's no shadows, no nothing. And let's add some text here. Let's just type YouTube. Let's get a black font. Let's get a good visible font that's good and let's add let's add um a different color let's add red red's fine okay so you have uh these these two layers you have a text layer and a, and a, and a render layer now you can see it's very dull very plain obviously because it's a it's a white background but um usually you you have a different color, you have a different uh, gradient background or, or some kind of background in the back not just white so um to make a drop shadow basically what drop shadow is it makes a shadow from the text or a shadow to the image and it's very it's a very simple effect so say i wanted to add a shadow to uh, altair here and to my text let's start with altair you click your layer over here not the background, you want to make sure you have the layer selected. You go to filters at the very top here. You go to lights and shadow, and you go to drop shadow. Now you can mess around with these settings here, um, but I would keep them the same unless you really need to mess with or mess around with them. I would keep them the same and just click OK. Now as you can see, you have a good drop shadow right here. It might be a little too strong, so you can always uh, delete the drop shadow layer and you can redo the drop shadow you can go filters light and shadow drop shadow again and um, um, the radius was a little too big so we're going to change the radius to about 10 maybe now what the radius does it makes the uh, it makes the shadow smaller now at 15 it was the shadow is more extended so by lowering the radius your shadow becomes a little smaller and makes it more realistic. So as you can see here, we have a nice shadow effect on Altair here. Now let's make a shadow effect on our text here. So we've got the same thing, filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and I'm going to keep the settings the same. And as you can see, we have a nice drop shadow here. But this one might be a little too, you see this one might be a little too strong also. So what you want to do is lower the opacity on this one. Now opacity basically means how strong, how light, or how dark your drop shadow is. So this is the opacity bar here. It was at 80, so let's make it to about, let's make it to 60. As you can see, the drop shadow is much lighter and makes it look a lot better now. Now to make your image official, what you want to do is you want to select your top layer, not your drop shadow, but your main layer, your render layer, and you want to click merge, right click, right click merge down this will make your whole render have your shadow with it so you basically created a shadow with your image same thing with the text here make sure you never click the drop shadow because you click the drop shadow um, you're basically gonna be merging down a drop shadow make sure you click your layer you place the drop shadow on so you right click your layer you, you made a drop shadow on click merge down and now you have a nice drop shadow effect on your text and on your uh, character object or whatever layer you have so this makes it a nice effect here so that's basically a very simple tutorial um, it's very easy to do drop shadow is very effective in all designs it makes uh, it, make, it, 
make makes your thing look 3D, makes your designs look 3D, makes everything look a lot better. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned how to do this effectively and sufficiently. And um, rate, comment, like the video if you want to. You may subscribe to me. You may add me as a friend. I accept all friend invites. And thank you for watching. And this is GS Man of Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.